this is, if I may, this is uh, Trump dropping in to try and pick up some of the, uh, the Muslims that don't like Palestinians and want them to all die. Let's be abundantly clear. We've, we've known of the Sunni-Shia divide for a very long time. Um, we've known that there are different groups, uh, the Houthis and others, who might align themselves with a particular group. But, uh, you know, when it finally comes down to it, like the Germans, they may side with a group of people like, the, you know, the Polish until it's time to kill them. Right. That, that shit happens all over the Middle East, just like it happens with every other broader ethnic group that's divided into belief systems. And so uh, Trump went and found a bunch of people who want the Palestinians dead. And uh, he, he went to Michigan and they exist. And that's what they do. That's their whole shtick is uh, we got to get this over with. Oh, uh, thank you, KDR. Finding how live makes my makes my I'm so glad I can make your night tonight. Make my night tonight. Go ahead. Make my night. All right, here we go. Contributions of Arab Americans. No longer will we tolerate the narrative of fake news that seeks to demonize our people. By the way, uh, the dude you're standing to, standing next, standing to, standing next to, has done more to demonize your people than anyone else in modern political history. You tit. We are proud Americans enriching this nation Thank you, with our hospitality, education, and hard work. From doctors to humanitarians and poets to politicians, we embody the spirit of resilience and progress. Um, anybody else's radar going off? There's a reason why he feels safe to live in Michigan, perhaps not overseas in another place. That said, I'm sure he's not talking about Ilhan Omar um, in, in his description of Muslims who've been vilified. We look to Trump, to a Trump presidency with hope, envisioning a time where peace flourishes, particularly in Lebanon and Palestine, uh -huh. maintaining the integrity of our borders. Maintaining the integrity of our borders. Lebanon and Palestine. So, uh, so this is uh, maybe one of the anti-Israel guys. Appreciate the recent letter regarding Lebanon. He appreciates the recent letter. Or I can't stand silence in silence when Palestine is being erased. Please help us stop the bloodshed. No amount of money or power should be priced. Look at his hand on Trump's back. Is he worried that Trump's going to fall over or pass out? Ties over human life. Look at Trump's side jaw. Mm. Really, I'm just going to tell Netanyahu to to turn it into a parking lot. I don't know what you're expecting. U.S. citizens should decide elections, not foreign entities and biased media sources. Yeah, we do. That's that's how it works. That's that uh, we do. We we absolutely do. We must reclaim the promise of our forefathers, the freedom of speech, un untainted by censorship from social media giants. These platforms should serve our are private organizations and are not responsible for your free speech exercise. You you have the right to speech, but you don't have the right to someone else's microphone, you weirdo. The public space is allowing us to reveal the- They're not public- Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Hang on there, dum-dum. Uh, say that again. Each un untainted by censorship from social media giants. These platforms should serve as the public spaces. Nope. What? A, it's a bunch of commie bullshit. Sorry. Oh my gosh, Rosanna. Rosanna. That's so sweet. Super, uh, be a lighthouse. I will do my level best. Thank you so much. Rosanna. Allowing us to reveal the truth and shine the lights of the injustices around the world. Yeah, no, they're private organizations. Facebook's a private organization. Twitter's a private organization. What What are you talking about? The, the, the illusion that somehow they're free speech entities is ridiculous. You have the right to say anything you want. You don't have the right to anybody else's uh, microphone and you don't have the right to walk into a fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken and start shouting about the flat earth without them running out of, you out of there because you don't have the right to free speech in their space. Good Lord.
Oh, thank you, Kate. She just became a Patreon. Thank you so much. As we approach the next election, let us be clear the outcome will reflect the ineffective policies and leadership that have put us all at risk. Risk of what? You, dude, you already lost. You think... You think Twitter is the public square. It's owned by a billionaire. He bought it himself and then uh, to, and on the idea that he was going to get rid of the bots and turn it into a free speech haven. And the motherfucker literally jacked the algorithm the other direction to help Trump. Free speech. Piss off. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. I believe that you will stand up to corruption. <laughs> of course you do. That's... That's the same kind of brain that gave us Twitter is the public square. Fostering peace and Walmart is also the public refrigerator, I suppose. It's, yeah, can you walk into a Target and open the, the refrigerated cabinets like it's your own fucking fridge? Don't you have the right to eat your own food in, in, in whatever way you see fit? Prosperity through diplomacy rather than through bombs and bloodshed. I, along with many others, truly appreciate that you made it a priority to visit Dearborn, one of the greatest cities in the United States. It is vital to keep building these connections and strengthening relationships with our incredibly intelligent community, especially after the election. Now, I would like to uh, honor our future president, Mr. Donald Trump, with a plaque on behalf of all peace-loving Michiganders uh, from a quote from Ronald Reagan. Uh, that says peace is not the absence of conflict, but the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. Aw, they, they're giving him a big wooden mitten. He's now, uh, the uh, tomorrow he's going to be like, the Muslims considered me man of the millennium. I got a giant bear paw. Uh, I tried to bite it. It did not taste like maple syrup at all. Thank you. Look at that. Good job speaking. He said the words. Look at that. And huh? I got a carved piece of wood. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Thank you so much. I will hold on to you. Thank you. USA! 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 The guy doesn't know whether he's supposed to commit to that or take the picture. Throw a smoky eyes. Don't do the smile. That that's something a jackass like Trump would do. Don't smile. Don't look serious. That's a serious wood carving. USA! 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 Well, I want to thank you and look. I know many people from Lebanon, and we have to. Get of course you do. We all know a lot of people from Lebanon. Uh, shout out to uh, Keanu Reeves's family. This whole thing over with. We want to have. Peace. I think he was born in Beirut, wasn't he? We want to have peace on earth. Yes, we do. And goodwill towards men and say Merry Christmas, especially these people around me. They want to they want to be able to say Merry Christmas again. All over. All over. And these are uh, uh, Pentoxystein is a new lab rat. Thank you so much. People, oh, my gosh, Jan. What are you doing, too? I'm still worried. Stay uh, with us on Tuesday. I will be there. You're going to be all right. Don't worry about it. This asshole's going to lose and lose badly. Much appreciated and being with you in Dearborn is Thank really you very much. It's shaped in the hand of Michigan because Michigan will decide this election and Michigan is turning around to be a Republican state. Thank you. No. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Thank you very much. So he goes, uh, he goes. They, they bring over a bunch of, like, campaign operatives and folks like that that are working. This is his, like, Muslim outreach group and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And that dude cannot stop touching him. I don't know how the fucking... Uh, it, look, it, okay, that guy that just walked up, who's... I, I guess they're pulling a train right now, but the guy in the back is Secret Service. I don't know if the guy in between them is, but they all want to touch his back. And the Secret Service are like, yeah, no. <laughs> Hands off the merchandise, mister. So he goes around. Here, I'll show you. Hold on one second, if I may. Goes around and he takes 
and a lot of selfies. And then he says some more shit. Some people ask questions of him, I think, at one point. And by the way, nobody pulls crowds of somewhere in the order of 38 people like Trump does in a restaurant in Dearborn, Michigan. I mean, basically, he's got it nailed. <laughs> Dearborn's in the tank for Trump. You can tell by all 38 of the people in this restaurant. Hey, look, if you can't do a rally because you haven't paid your bill last time, what do you do in town? Get ready to see a bunch more of this shit between now and Tuesday from Trump because he's going to go back to all these places and he hasn't paid his bill for the security or the use of the venue and all that kind of shit. So they won't let him do it again. So he's going to do a bunch of these like, I'm showing up at a place. There's only 10 people in here, but it's only I'm, I'm here to shake hands with the waffle guy. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So good. So good. <laughs> There's a guy wearing a, a garbage truck vest. Hey, look at this guy. The, yeah, I heard that uh, Joe Biden uh, bet Kamala ice cream cone that uh, he couldn't get us all wearing uh, garbage man clothes and garbage bags, and uh, she owes him big time. Hello. Hello, everybody. Time for Grandpa's gonna come over and give his urine sample. Give us a second. I want some good food. Hold on. This, okay, this is the other thing. This is where this is the part. In case you you're new to Earth and you've just arrived. Hi, welcome. Sorry about this. I I'll straighten it all out for you later. But uh, for right now, this is our current entertainment. Is uh, this uh, this like long Halloween? amusement park ride of the horror of this man being in charge of anything that matters to anybody but his fucking dumbass family but he always does this whole thing like i want some good food what's good food you're gonna feed me here i hear everything's great give me the two of those somebody will pay for it and then they leave without paying Bring it home to what food do you have what food do you have take a guess asshole i want some good food these are great people these are great people. What kind of food do you have? I want some good food here. Well, uh, maybe you could help them make some French fries. I'm kidding. These are great people. I like that guy right there. <laughs> Everything okay? Everything good? Business is good. What is this? Okay, they want him to sign. They're asking him to sign hands. Oh, wow. So the hat is, uh, has a name on it. A apparently, I can't see it because the video is not that strong, but apparently it's a very foreign sounding name. <laughs> and uh, watch his face when they say, read it. Thank you, Stephen. That's amazing. Who's whose is that? Who's this? Whose is that? She goes, read it. Watch him try. Look at him. He's trying to read it right now. Tyrus Onomasi. I couldn't hear who the person is, but apparently is a like it's it's. It's just a foreign name. And he's like, who is that? Who's this person who I absolutely know? And I could totally say it, but I don't feel like it right now. Thank you, Susan. And thank you, Carolyn. Sorry. Voted Wednesday after three hours in line. Oh, my gosh. Carolyn, um, you stood in line for three hours. That's amazing. Early voting. You had three hours of line for early voting. That's actually a, a really good sign. In Indiana? Hmm. That's good stuff. And uh, Susan, thank you so much. Anything you have to say about the Muslim ban? Do you have anything to say about the Muslim ban? If I was the Muslim ban, the Muslim ban, the Muslim ban. If I had a Muslim ban early in the morning. There is 
there's no Muslim ban. <laughs> Not Dearborn, anyways. Uh, obviously, it, it means people coming in, dummy. You're already in, Mister. Pull the ladder up after yourself. Oh my gosh, Pentax and sign. Thank you so much. America was created. I hope I'm saying that right. On the hard work of good Muslims as well. Thank you very much, Thank you, everybody. Very nice. You're working hard. I've been watching you, huh? Is she doing a good job? Is she doing a good job? All right, this is also his weird little thing. He points somebody out. They doing good to you? Is he being a good boss? Are these people being good to you? It's something, it's like he learned it from a book recently. <laughs> wow. Is she working hard? And then he goes, I think I'm working harder. Two days in a row. 62 days in a row. That's not true at all. He was golfing. By the way, he considers uh, private meetings with donors and golfing with them at his own clubs to be work. Just to say it. And I don't know what you consider work. But uh, I personally would not consider that to be work. Personally. I just don't know why. Why was Dearborn so important to you is the question. Sometimes it's hard. Thank you for the new Patreon subscriber. Thank you too much. And then jo uh, Joy, thank you so much as well. Sorry, I saw that. I think it came up. Great feeling for Lebanon. I know so many people from Lebanon, Lebanese people, and uh, the Muslim population. Sorry, the Muslim? Wait. The Muslim? People from Lebanon, Lebanese people. And, uh, the Muslim yeah, the <laughs> Lebanese women are known for being rather, you know, buxom. I think that's what he means. The Muslim population. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> Listen to that again. I know so many people from Lebanon, Lebanese people, and uh, the Muslim population. Oh, yeah, the Muslim population. Yowza. Bow, wow, wow. Like they put the babe in Beirut. And I've had a good relationship with them. This is yeah, they should put, they should spell it B-A-E root. Uh, because they, I love them so much, they're my bae. <laughs> the Muslim population. Shut up. This is where they are, dear boy. Is it? Oh, okay, good. Do they know? You should probably turn around and tell them where they are. We want their votes and we're looking for their votes. <laughs> uh-huh. Right? You, you want their votes, and you're looking for their votes, and you must have their votes. And if they give their votes to anyone else, they've got to have their head examined or something about not being Muslim. We'll get their votes. What do you think? You think we'll get their votes? I have oh, a feeling yeah. we will. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling we will. Especially the 38 people in this restaurant owned by one of my donors. And we have polls that came out just now. We're doing very well in Michigan. Mm-hmm. We're very well in Pennsylvania. When he says very well... Instead of we're winning in all the polls, he means he's losing. He means he just heard the one where she's ahead. And by the way, she's been ahead in his internal polls for a while now. Uh, we're doing great in Arizona. Nope. Eight up, nine up, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what Rasmussen is telling you. And overall, we're doing extremely hard. Somebody says 97% chance of winning. You saw that? 90 <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that. That would be a lunatic. Uh, oh, Pentax the camera, Frankenstein the monster. That makes sense. I like that idea of Pentax and Stein. Good. I was. I nailed it. Then I'm very happy about that. I'm good. I'm glad. I did so well. I, nobody reads weird online nicknames like I do. Although I won't say Diddy. The man's name is Sean Combs. Once you become a defendant, I don't have to use your silly, your silly nickname anymore. That's the rule. All I know is you have to go out and vote. Is that all you know? It might be all you know. It, I, I'm, I actually think that's the only truthful thing he said. Are you going to all go and vote? You wouldn't vote for Kamala. No, Kamala. Nobody's going to vote for Kamala. Yeah, nobody's going to vote for her. All I can tell you is she's an inferior candidate. She shouldn't be running. She didn't get one vote. She is totally an inferior candidate. She shouldn't be running. Uh, and I'm pissed that she's kicking my ass. Wait, let me get this straight. 
She's an inferior candidate. She shouldn't even be running. She didn't get one vote, and she's kicking your sorry ass. These are terrible defenses. I don't know why he goes to this. That's like saying, you know, Biden can't get off a stage. He can't put two sentences together, and they were neck and neck in the polls. You're an asshole. You should play up her thing. Like, she's she's supposed to be their ringer because they're going to do everything to get her elected, and she, you know, she's obviously a smart person, but she's not going to be pulling the, calling the shots. She's a manipulator and blah, blah, blah. Like, you'd be better off making people worry about her. And I don't want to give him any fucking... It's not like he's going to grow. What am I worried? He's going to change. Um, but he, it, he would be better off making the case that she, you know, she's a conniving ladder climber or some shit like that. And and she's getting marching orders from the Pentaveret. They took it away from Biden. I, they've treated Biden very unfairly. Yeah, I can. I, I just the, your sympathy is overwhelming. To tell you that. Try not to get sap on everybody. When you talk about democracy, they have treated it very unfairly. Uh, we still all have to vote. You realize how parties pick their leaders aren't democratic, or, or you would have actually had to show up at the debates with Nikki Haley and DeSantis. What are you talking about? Mr. President, the vice president has criticized your elevation of Robert F. Kennedy. She just said that she thinks he's the last person in America that should be involved. That's a. Uh, 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 Garrett? Yeah. Well, that's because they've lost him. He was a Democrat all his life. Oh, believe me, you can have him. No, he wasn't a Democrat all his life. His his family are Democratic royalty. He's been a, a philanderer his entire adult life. He's been a heroin addict. Um, and, and, and in many ways, like a dry drunk more than likely is on TRT and some other shit, and the mix is making him a little loopy. Any family is the first one to do this, and they've lost him. Only one. Very unhappy about it. No, we're good. I'm, t- I'm here to tell you, as the, de- as the duly designated representative of the Democratic establishment and the deep state personified, I'm here to tell you, you can have RFK Jr. You are welcome to golf and falcon with that bloated fuck anytime you want. Knock yourself out. Um, sorry. Uh, oh, Marsha gave me a super sticker that says, I'll be back in this because, you know, this is because the Arnold came out and supported the Kamala and the Harris, you know, this is, this is very important. I don't like the politicians, you know, this is true and all that and things of that nature and so but i don't like the big pussy grabbing monkey faced man with the orangeness and stuff like that he looks like pat robertson fucking the circus peanut like hal sparks says you know i think they're very unhappy about their poll numbers because she is sinking like a dead ship she's sinking <laughs> like a dead ship what killed the ship did it die of natural causes or <laughs> was it did somebody sneak up behind it and give it an injection? A dead ship. A dead ship. And, uh, no, he's great. You he, he, is, he is a great guy. I've known him a long time. Oh, yeah, I know. You You guys have a lot in common. You cheat on all of your wives. You're, uh, uh, quiet, constant substance abusers. And he's, uh, You're both gross. What he wants to do is very simply, he wants to make people healthy, and I think that's... Good. You, you, were, you were asked about your health care plan. Everything is on me. I'm paying for the whole thing, which is what we call a uh, contribution in kind to the uh, candidate by paying for your staff and everyone here. I am breaking the law. I expect some form of pardon. Now, here's the mayor of a big city. More people should be a mayor like him. It's Dearborn, Simmer. Thank you, sir. Coffee's on me. Let me have one. We're going to need it. You can give them some coffee, too. Can you? It's on him. (laughs) What are you talking about? He didn't offer to... What are you doing? You can give them a bunch of coffee. He's paying. Uh, Their coffee, coffee, orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips. (laughs) What an asshole. He just volunteered that guy to pay for everybody's coffee. What a prick. You want coffee? You like coffee? I don't drink coffee. It tastes like grown-up food. <laughs> She's going to have some coffee. I don't drink coffee. Do you have any Diet Coke? Do you have any Muslim Diet Coke? Yeah. Yeah. I don't drink coffee, but these... There you go. 
<laughs> what I tell you? I don't drink coffee because he because he drinks Diet Coke like by the fucking gallon. <laughs> by the way, you're watching Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. I'm Hal Sparks, the most Hal Sparks Hal Sparks you'll ever Hal Sparks in your whole Hal Sparks in life. And uh, the mayor will pay for it. Who I don't even know his name. I call him Mr. Mayor because he doesn't matter because he's bald and bald people don't belong in politics, which is something that Trump believes, even though he's kind of bald. This is like, what a douchebag. So then he takes it's a bunch of pictures and they wander around and uh, whatever. And he's signing things. And there's, again, there's like 38 people in here. It's not... They definitely pack the place with supporters. The idea is that they want people in there to take pictures and make them feel better. And then, uh, it, yeah, he comes back around. It's the, it, it's, I honest to God, it's like 38 people. And then when he finishes that, they bring him up. And there's Walt, by the way. Hey, look, everybody. It's his co defendant who he's not supposed to be around. He's great. He's great. Man, he's great. He's so great. People say, what's he like? I say, he's great. And you know, they wish they had him, but they don't have him. I have him. You. Yeah, I got him, and he's great. They used to have him, and he wasn't great. Wait a minute. Did this, did the girl right here ask that question? Hold on. I was looking, I was too busy looking at his weird way of signing the wood. Hold on. Yeah, um, she, yeah, she asked the question, what's the response to that? And he's looking straight ahead like the voice is coming from his, like right here. Thank you, Peter. Time changer, can we get back at AM 940? I don't know. Although I do know that um, apparently, uh, thanks uh, Minneapolis, um, my radio show on WCPT is going to be carried in Minneapolis. It won't be live. It will be, um, they're going to re-air it um, on their station at a different time. I think later in the day or on Sunday because of the time slot issue, which is really nice. That I've, I've added a station. I've doubled my number of stations. The show is all she wants to do is blow people up. She's a war hawk. All she wants to do is blow people up. She's a war hawk. And if you ever put her into the field of battle, she'd be the first one to check it out. Oh, that's because she's a woman, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, is she, this is a chicken hawk reference. It's just lame, but uh, mainly he thinks that because she's female. She wouldn't fight. She'd chicken out so fast. Why, why would you think that? She can shoot, you dumb motherfucker. You, like, and better than her dad. That's all I say. She, uh, again, her, her father is a sociopath. <laughs> I don't know. I think most people who are raised by sociopaths, if they were put in a battle situation, they'd fucking click into overkill, literally. Whereas this asshole, you want to talk about somebody who would beat feet he, he, that dude would run straight out of his shoes and, and, uh, it'd be like, there goes bone spurs for the record. These are the people, they don't mind killing people, but if they had to do it themselves, she wouldn't fight. She's a coward. What the fuck is that? Are you just trying to tell people that you would kill people personally in your next term? Is 
Sir, what conversation? She asked, uh, by the way, he's ignoring those questions, the, the real tough questions. She goes, do you think what's happening in Gaza is a genocide? And she asked him that. Uh, that crowd, that guy right next to him, would like to hear him say yes. He's not answering. Oh, yeah. And what about your meeting with Netanyahu bringing peace to the Middle East? We had a good conversation. We had a good conversation. We're going to bring peace. We're going to have peace in the Middle East. But not with the clowns that you have running the U.S. right now. You're going to have peace. You're going to have peace in the Middle East. And they should have peace in the Middle East. But not with the clowns you have... Uh, in the Middle East. The Middle East. Sorry, there are clowns in the Middle East too. We have clowns. They got clowns. Netanyahu is a clown. I guess it's the whole fucking thing's a clown. Oh, I guess everything's projection. What, what you have? Yeah, what do we have? I forget where the clowns were now. People in the Middle East that aren't doing their job, and you have people in the U.S. that aren't doing their job. They... Yeah, what what exactly is their job? Get it together. When they get it right, you get a piece in the Middle East. You... Oh, okay. Well, good. Well, that settles it. Sure. Did, did you suggest a, uh, do you have a, a suggestion of a particular antidote? Uh, yes, something awesome that's super good and better than anything you've ever come up with because clowns. Something about clowns. I always I'm going to send in Pennywise. Like that. We're going to send uh, red balloons, but not the ones from the, the, uh, the 80s song that was in German first. Nan and nan, she's love ballon, and un brecht un hobbickchen. All right. Oh, by the way, um, members of his staff yell his name to make him feel better. You know that? People, they literally, to add to the, they literally go like, President Trump, you're awesome. President Trump. Quick question, President Trump. Like, they literally do that. Because there's a couple of reporters, but a two or three sounds kind of pathetic. So he wants it to sound like there's eight or ten reporters yelling questions all the time. So they put Mr. Trump. Like, they do that all the time. For real. Now, I've seen his own staff who are there with him, came with him and left with him, yelling, like, uh, Mr. Trump, quick question. Like that. And they're, they arrived with him and they're leaving with him. Just dumb. By the way, this is the traveling press. These are the people who are with him all the time. That's not the same people I'm talking about, for the record. They go out a different direction. There's Garrett Haig. He's a tall drink of water. That is not Byron Donalds. I think that's a that's a Secret Service dude, by the way. I'm sure people were like, "What is Byron Donalds doing in the kitchen?" No, that's not him. Just so you know. I'm trying not to die here. Not in Dearborn. The only thing worse than that is dying in Bruges. Hey, everyone's running me over with their fucking mics. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, it's nice that you keep your camera running, I guess. Thank you for the guest memberships. So they run around, they make them run around the outside and like... Go to, go to the next event in a box. This is actually a great window into what uh, the traveling press with candidates go through. So then they run around for when he's coming out and then they get fit, footage of him getting into the vehicle or leaving or whatever. And then they, they're, like, they're, they're photographers, they're the stragglers in case anything's happened. The rest of them get in their bus and then they try to beat him over to the next place. So th they, the reason they have to be rushed is they get inside there and then he delays his leave or they go around, they do a lap or whatever. So the press are there when he arrives. So they're ahead of the... Yeah, there you go. So um, I think overall pretty good sound tonight, yes? Um, and thank you guys for the, the lovely support. I was not... Uh, 
expecting that at all for the Super Chats tonight and the, and the support. That was just incredibly lovely, and I thank you very much for doing that. Um, I'm going to, uh, um, my girl will be back in, a, in about five minutes, so I'm going to freshen up and we're going to go to dinner. And then tomorrow, regular radio show in the morning, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And then um, tomorrow night, Sexy Liberal, last one before the election. Uh, nice uh, group of people, including our dear friend Mark Hamill will be there and Adam Schiff. Um, and uh, Glenn Kirshner as well, and a couple others. So very exciting. Uh, Tara Dublin Rocks will be doing a backstage live stream, which I will be setting up, I think, with my gear. So after I do radio, I get to pack all my shit up and bring it with me and then give her this little mic or one of the other ones, and she can pop it on other people, and then she can do some backstage video or, or talk to people backstage as we're getting prepped for the show. I, and I've been uh, writing like an idiot because there's so much stuff and i have a different here i'll show you hold on i gotta take these out one second chat room and um normally i have the um the electric um the regular electric but this time i have the electric acoustic this little white guy this little this little dude right here um and this thing hold on yeah see if this turns on So yeah, so that's nice. I'm just going to, uh, um, I've got to tune it for one, but um, I have a, uh, uh, since I did uh, Florida Man at the last one, I may do it, but, I'm, but I'll do a truncated version of it because people have asked, but we did it on the last live stream. Um, pay-per-view and I don't want to just do that one so I've got another one I'm adding to it um, as well as um, a song I have to learn between now and tomorrow because I just wrote it because fresh jokes all the time so wish me luck and uh, I will see you guys um, in in the near future and thanks again for all the support you guys all the new members in the patreon patreon.com slash house you guys are wonderful and um, oh